America, the cryptocurrency city, uh, when they are when the project are released and they are building the project, how can we approach the company and uh, the people there? So um, let me give you a, just a short, brief explanation about the company background. So Redblock Corporation is a blockchain technology service company. They provide blockchain solution for enterprise in system development and trainings. So according to the websites, they have a lot of uh, services using blockchain. For example, like Halfpoint, Store System, Traceability, Smart Lock. And they also give uh, trainings and also seminars to companies and give uh, adequate information to the company who are interested to implement blockchain in their system or their operation. Uh, so two, week, two weeks ago, uh, uh, Visual and Fires uh, already uh, get uh, technical training from the Rebel Corporation. Yeah, we, we went to Rebel office and... Um, Japanese? And the staff talk in English. <laughs> English training. Uh, they give uh, a Japanese company? Uh, it's, it's a Japanese, Japanese company. company. Labrador right? is a Japanese company. It's a partner with Gravity. Gravity. How big are they? Yeah. Too small. Very really small company. Yeah. Just venture. Uh, last year, it was open last year, I, th I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they provide a lot of service like the smart lock, um, traceability. So, they are trying to. So, this is the services by Reblock. So we are returning to the case about Melaka cryptocurrency. So yeah, the project is a uh, building um, in Melaka Strait City, and this project has have been approved by the government. Is it backed by the China government and Wuyi Company? Uh, actually, this is quite interesting because this project is fully funded, fully funded by the China government. The Malaysia government only prepared place for them. Mm. So <laughs> it's a place, just a place. Yeah. Wow. So this is a, actually quite a huge investment by China to invest in a uh, foreign land, foreign land. Malacca City uh, in Bobby. Malacca City just provide land for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the aim for this blockchain city is to create an educational center uh, for tourists and for sustainable development for business operation for international companies doing blockchain operations they are they are trying to create this kind of environment so uh, they are yes, I have a question uh, Malacca area there is a uh, many, many uh, Chinese in Malaysia uh, for, uh, like uh, like uh, Penang yeah, and hi. Ipoh is that real? yeah yeah um, I got it okay mm. so the blockchain platform they are being using is they, they stated in their operation will be using the MI platform and the MI coins so um, the aim in the future when the city is finished and everything is established they are trying to make people to exchange fiat money to DMI coins when they want to use services in the Malacca city um, cryptocurrency city so no more real money everything is in the in, in coin, uh, cryptocurrency so uh, the business issue for this is uh, my hypo hypo hypothesis. Hypothesis, mm. yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, no problem. <laughs> so uh, the issue I think is more into approaching foreign market because Reblock is a Japanese company. They don't have, um, they still don't have any branch out internationally. And secondly, is localization because most of Reblock systems are the the Reblock platform is still in Japanese. But yeah, they 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 have actually provided English documentation but it is still not enough uh, so they have still have to do a lot more and then third is uh, securing reliable partners to operate in Malaysia and also to monitor the law and regulations in the country okay so um, this presentation will focus on these four points Malaysia government China involvement British involvement and Japan involvement in the Malacca project um, okay, so for the Malaysia government involvement, there are three aspects that we have we can look into. The first is the approval. For approval, they have already given a green light for the project based on the report I read in the FX Empire. So they have already given a green light to do a cryptocurrency city in Malacca area. So for support, um, 
the government according to the coin telegraph they prepared a huge support for digital initiative for tech companies who wanted to start or to do operation in malaysia they are giving um, full support because uh, malaysia are actually trying to become to change their uh, um, income you no know, their economy from oil and industry they wanted to become a creativity uh, not the creativity technologically uh, company and uh, country so they are trying to uh, invite more com- uh, tech company to come into malaysia and that is the regulations uh, regulation is the cryptocurrency exchange um, based on the one that i said before the way they are trying to improve their uh, the, the rule of cryptocurrency in malaysia so that by the time the melaka city is finished the cryptocurrency law is established and clear for everyone to operate in Malaysia. So let's see about the China involvement in the Malaysia projects. So I would like to look into uh, past records in Malaysia Investment Development Authority. Currently, the foreign de- foreign de- foreign development investment inflows in Malaysia the highest in uh, the in all country. China is the highest in Malaysia, defeating all the other country. Because in 2018, they invested um, 22.5 percent uh, uh, in the Malaysia by the, providing a lot of many kind of different projects like um, high speed trains, and this one is the newest, the Malacca cryptocurrency city. So you can see by looking at the FDI inflows, China is the first. Second is Indonesia, third Netherlands, Japan is the fourth, and last, the fifth is the United States. So currently, China is leading the way to do a foreign development in Malaysia. So currently, yeah, and this one is last last year, 2018. So it is expected to become higher in 2019 to for, for this year because of a lot more projects are being planned by China in Malaysia now. What does the percentage mean? The percentage is about um, okay. So we have many countries that uh, invest in Malaysia. So this based on the data, this is about how much from foreign uh, foreign country, how much of them their involvement is in Malaysia. Oh, in total. S- yeah. So China is twenty two point five. In total. In total for foreign development so it's very huge actually quite a lot <laughs> because they are taking a lot of the uh, in the pie chart they are taking a, they are taking a lot of the size which means that they are have a lot of money <laughs> to invest so uh, about a uh, british or uk company uh, unfortunately for malacca city project they are not directly involved but they open a lot of uh, branch office in Malaysia. They have a lot of different, usually uh, um, UK companies, UK blockchain companies, they are partners with the government. And for example, they have a, a company called Luno. They open a, their branch in Malaysia, which uh, helps to, because they, are tr- because they are looking into doing cryptocurrency exchange. Mm. So that's why a lot of like British company are opening cryptocurrency branch in Malaysia and also this is also because of the Malaysia Digital Economic Corporation offers they are opening a program called um, MTEP Malaysia, Malaysia Tech Entrepreneur Programs so they are calling everyone all over the world to come and they will provide a lot of support like a business a help desk and they are also providing um, tax break they are also giving a lot of uh, sponsor and connections with the government agency so that you can go uh, and do much more faster um, project with the government if you are doing this program. So many British company are in- interested and came to join based on this offer. The MTEP, Malaysian Tech Entrepreneur Program. And uh, moving on into Japan involvement with the project uh currently this project is by china government and still in initial funding so we are looking so let's look into the japan other companies japan companies 
they are currently th- uh, the one that I found is uh, three first is the OK Blockchain Center by OK Wave Japan they currently open a, they already open a blockchain center in Johor Bahru where they partner with the Iskandar Development Iskandar Development is a state government uh, development program where they partner with the OK Wave Japan and open with the blockchain center there so the second one is Team Z Team Z they are actually a Japanese company and they hold they conduct a lot of blockchain summit all over the uh, world and this year they conducted a blockchain summit in Malaysia and surprisingly they managed to get a lot of government agencies a lot of high ranking government officer in Malaysia to also contribute to this event so they are quite good because they have a lot of connection with the government and lastly is the chain top JP chain top JP is a blockchain company where they do a blockchain services and they open a blockchain uh, branch in Malaysia and then cur- currently they are doing a pharmaceutical uh, track and trace using blockchain where they collaborated with Eon and also GS1 company so this company have Malaysian government connection then they also have local companies partnership because these companies they know uh, they have connection with like for example chain top they collect with Eon Malaysia mm. and okay they know uh, because the Iskandar development are opening a lot of they are accepting foreign companies so they connected with the Iskandar development so from what I see it is very crucial for a foreign company <laughs> to come and connect with the government and local company to become successful in um, okay, this project uh, yeah uh, James, uh, this company is a uh, head is uh, in place in Tokyo yeah hi. but this company's head CEO is uh, not Japanese yeah yeah Chinese uh, Malaysian yeah Chinese Malaysian but the staff and mm. but their headquarters is still in Tokyo mm. so technically they are Japanese company, mm-hmm. just CEO is different yeah. Yeah, yeah, nationality. Yeah. Why, why they put headquarters in Japan? So, what, what is the benefit from Japan? Mm, maybe because Japan is not banning cryptocurrency. <laughs> uh, hmm. Because Japan is quite open in cryptocurrency law. Not like Malaysia. Malaysia, we still have this mm. kind of type regulations. 